The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have donned a pair of Wellington boots as they visit Auckland for the third day of their royal tour of New Zealand. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's first engagement of the day in the city is to dedicate a 20-hectare area of native bush to the Queen's Commonwealth canopy. They are unveiling a plaque at Redvale on the city's north shore recognizing the dedication to the QCC, which conserves indigenous forests for future generations. The royal couple are also planting trees and have just taken part in a welly-wanging contest with local school students. Meghan's team emerged victorious in the Wellington boot-throwing competition. The Duchess proved quite the natural in the bizarre boot-tossing contest, with it most likely her first time partaking in such a sport. She swapped a stylish navy blue blazer for a black hooded zip-up jacket with a National Trust logo, the same jacket her husband wore. Meghan earlier completed her outfit with a crop sleeve blazer and jeans, which was later covered by a wet weather jacket, while Harry wore a coat for the occasion, which was also replaced a jacket more suitable to the rainy conditions. The $219 Wellington boots worn by the couple are from the original Mock Boot Company. Meghan pressed her forehead and nose up against another woman for the traditional Hongli greeting while shaking her hand at a ceremony to dedicate the area of native bush to the Queen's Commonwealth canopy. Harry also embraced the woman's hand and gave her a similarly intimate Hongli hello at the ceremony. The couple received gifts from locals following the ceremony, including what appeared to be a knitted rug and a pair of green children's Wellington boots with cartoon characters on them. A drizzle of rain did not appear to dampen the spirits of Meghan, who appeared cheerful in the front row of the ceremony. Harry on the other hand appeared rather glum as he held an umbrella above himself and a man seated at his side. Meghan made good use of her Wellington boots in the wet weather, helping two school children plant a native tree to add to the area bush in the Queen's honor. She appeared focused on the task at hand, as did her two young helpers who also wore rain jackets and Wellington boots to protect them in the soggy conditions. The couple will join the Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern to visit Pillars, a charity operating across New Zealand. Later in the afternoon, the royal couple will have the opportunity to meet the people of Auckland on the Viaduct Harbour, before attending a reception hosted by Ms Ardern at the Auckland War Memorial Museum. The final day of their Royal Highnesses tour will take place in Rotorua on Wednesday. The Duke and Duchess will head to Rainbow Springs to learn more about the center's Kiwi breeding program. Later that afternoon, Meghan and Harry will head into the city for the chance to meet members of the public gathered there. The royal couple then heads back to London. New Zealand is the fourth country the royal couple have visited on their mammoth 16-day tour following visits to Australia, Fiji and Tonga. Please like, comment, and subscribe to channel. Thank you for watching my video.